Hello, my name is Stephen Lefebvre and welcome to my channel. Um, if you like the, my reviews, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Um, I'm going to give honest reviews of these items. Um, I'm going to start with this one. It's the Sony Handycam um, FDR-AX53. Bought it from Best Buy along with the protection program. Um, about a year and a half, two years ago, and um, with the thought that I was going to become a, uh, a video, a vlogger, and that was my plan. It seemed like it had a lot of good features. Um, should have been alarmed when the first one that I bought had already been bought and returned. So, as I said, I bought the additional warranty, and there's this flip out screen here. Um, that I didn't realize it at the time, but there's something called a ribbon cable that connects the body of the camera to this screen. And the screen is fully able to be turned even backwards, which is really a cool feature. Um, but the ribbon cable broke not long after I got it. Sent it off under the warranty. They repaired it, sent it back. I was probably without it for maybe a week tops. It wasn't very long. I don't remember it being very long. Let's put it that way. Um... So once I realized that it was very delicate, I stopped using that part of it. And you can also turn it on by pulling this out and that will turn the camera on. And so you don't have to flip this thing out. And I was thinking that that would be a better way to go. Um, didn't use it for a long, long time. I got a couple GoPros, which is what I'm filming on now. And I love the GoPros, but the GoPros have no zoom. And this did. And that was why I wanted this and I want, wanted this to work. Um, I paid roughly $800 for it, maybe nine with the warranty or maybe even close to a thousand with the warranty. And um, so I set it aside. I, uh, I had it in a case that was cushioned, um, didn't really mess with it, um, didn't use it for a long time. Um, had a niece or actually it was a friend's daughter that was graduating or no, actually she had a recital in college and wanted somebody to do a video of it. And I thought, what a great chance for me to bring this. And it's got a zoom on it. And so I took it and set it up on my monopod and the thing would not focus. Um, it has a manual focus feature right here. You can press this button and adjust it to fit this ring to focus manually and I couldn't get it to focus at all. And if I did get it to focus, it would go out of focus as soon as I stopped trying to focus it. So that really kind of perturbed me. Um, it was the only thing I brought. Uh, you would think that I would have experience with things like this and that I would have brought something else for a backup, but I didn't, I counted on this. And um, I was very disappointed. So got it home, realized that it was a month outside of the additional warranty that I'd purchased and uh, went on Sony's website, found this and looked up. You don't have to call them. They have a standard repair uh, price right there on their website and it was $500 to repair this. So it would have cost me half the price again of what I paid for this to repair it sight unseen. They didn't even look at it. Um, when food, uh, my son is a uh, Geek Squad guy at Best Buy, and he said they don't do the work in-house, so it would have to be sent out. Um, so now I'm left with a basically a $1,000 paperweight, or I can spend another $500 on a product that I already know is cheap and doesn't work very well. Um, so I was going to throw this in the trash, but I decided to make a video um, to warn other people about this product and so they wouldn't make they wouldn't ha make the same mistake I did because Best Buy sells this today on their shelves um, for I think it's eight hundred or seven fifty or something like that, and it is a piece of garbage. It is a real piece of garbage. Maybe I got a lemon, um, but I don't know. Once again, it is the Sony four K with Wi Fi um, FDR AX five three Handycam. And if you listen, um, I guess I should put it here. When I start it up, okay, so it starts up, 
the iris opens and it has this uh, stabilizing, side-by-side -side stabilizing um, lens that's pretty cool actually if it worked all right, but it doesn't stabilize up and down. So that's kind of not very cool. And then when I turn it off, if you listen, oh, it's not going to do it now. Okay, well, there, it did it. It has some kind of clicking noise inside, which is not supposed to happen. Let me do that again. It's on. That. That's not supposed to happen. So I don't know what's going on. But as I said, it doesn't focus. Tried resetting it tried charging the battery um tried all kinds of things to make it work um, i think i even tried a firmware upgrade and it's just a piece of junk um, balanced optical steady shot sony 4k handycam 16.6 .6 megapixel and i will never buy this again um, what i should do and it's expensive so this was about a grand to go up there's two other choices that i can see one is to get a steady what they it's a steady cam that you connect your um, SDLR single lens digital single lens reflex camera up to and um, I have one of those and then I can use that to video with but the one that I have is only 1080 it's not 4k it's not even half of 4k um, so the other option would be to buy a more uh, um, a higher level like in the four or five thousand dollar range the ones that go on your shoulder um, uh, camcorder and I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that yet or not I have to see where this goes the purpose of all this is that I plan to go into real estate videography the video walkthroughs and the um, I've got a drone I'm going to get my part 107 license my remote pilot license to be able to um, do uh, drone footage and still drone shots and you can actually walk the drone through the house and use a stabilization gimbal on your drone to make your video so and then add the narration or music or whatever afterward that's my plan um, my background is that I was a photographer weddings portraits food you name it and the problem was is that competing with the new people who are giving away their service for services for free was horrendous you've got so many people and some of them are actually quite good um, that are giving away their services for free and as a professional photographer you can't compete with free it's one of the things that's going on with the music industry right now um, the piracy and digital downloading of music um, prevents the artist from making money on their product and it's putting people out of business now what they're having to do is they make all their money touring um, because they're not making the money in album sales that they used to and it's sad state of affairs, but it is what it is, you know. Um, a lot of people that are photographers are getting their, their images stolen um, by people that want to use them as stock, stock photos. And the way it works, it's only illegal if you get caught. So you happen to see one of your images being used by a company, you reach out to them and you say, stop using my image. If they take the image down, you don't get a penny. If they don't take the image down, then you can sue for copyright infringement. But it becomes a big legal battle and normally you don't get a lot of money out of it. So, and I imagine with uh, cell phones and, and the video and cell phones, my, my, um, my Apple uh, 11 Pro Max will take 4K video footage. Um, so, and it's, it actually looks really good. It, it, it looks really good. So I imagine as that happens, things like this will become a thing of the past. Um, and uh, that's it. If you have any questions or comments about this product, maybe you've owned it and had a good experience, or uh, maybe you have a suggestion for something that would be um, in the right price range, um, but uh, and it's good quality, but not not as expensive as a, say five thousand dollars. Please leave it in the comments. Um, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.